let us look at this ratio days sales outstanding so what does this ratio really imply this ratio really implies how many days how many days it takes to collect the sales proceeds it takes to collect the sales proceeds after delivering the goods after delivering the goods right so this is the interpretation of day sales outstanding obviously if you are a businessman you would want to collect as quickly as possible the moment you sell you want your cash in hand you do not want credit sales because that is that will that means your money is blocked in the system and you have to invest more in an ideal world you would want to receive advance but at least you do not want to give too much of credit if you do not give too much of credit then your day sales outstanding at any point in time should be as less as possible let's take a numerical example let's say the company has a receivable a company has a receivable of 100 and let's say the company has a daily sales company has a daily sales on an average they sell 50 rupees every day right so let's look at it graphically on day one let's say the company starts business only now on day one they sell goods worth of 50 and they do not collect it on day two they sell another goods worth of 50 and they do not collect it so at the end of day two their daily uh, their total receivable or outstanding receivable is 100 50 plus 50 on third day they make a sales of 50 but they are collecting whatever they have sold on first day so while the receivables would have increased by 50 it would also decrease by 50 because the first day sales has been collected so on third day also receivable would be 100 on fourth day your receivable would increase by 50 because you will make a new sale of 50 but your second second day sales will get collected and hence receivable will remain at 100 so this is how you have to mentally map it so what it means now is essentially you sell on first day and you collect on third day so it takes two days for you to collect the sales proceed on an average so as I said obviously you want to collect as quickly as possible and hence this number to be as lesser as possible because you do not want to block your money in the system so now let's say how to calculate this so this has to be calculated as receivables by daily sales as I said right and receivables what we have is yearly sales right what we have here is yearly sales so receivables by sales divided by 365 is your daily sales so now if you rearrange this formula what you will get is 365 by sales by receivables which is the sales by receivable is nothing but receivable turnover ratio so 365 by receivable turnover ratio is your day sales outstanding fine let's calculate this for the company so 365 divided by 13.6 and 21.7 so what has happened between last year and this year is last year it took on average 27 days to collect the sales this year it takes only 21 and a half days to collect the sales to put it other way last year if a sale was made on 1st January the collection was made on 27th January this year if the sales was made on 1st January the collection was made on 22nd January right so obviously here it is much better because the company releases cash much faster rather than this year and hence you can say that company has become more efficient between the two years in the later year it is becoming it has more it is more efficient this is how you have to calculate and interpret day sales outstanding